The Philippine economy is likely to sustain a 6.5% growth rate this year. Finance Secretary Benjamin Jokno said during a lunch on with business tycoons attending the World Economic Forum meetings in Switzerland. To give us an update, here's Chona Yu reporting live from Davos in Switzerland. Chona? Neil, in a speech during a lunch on hosted by Philippine economic managers for President Bobong Marcos Jr. and the seven business tycoons attending the World Economic Forum meetings in Switzerland, Finance Secretary Benjamin Jokno estimated that gross domestic product growth in 2022 likely exceeded the government's growth target of 6.5 to 7.5 percent. Jokno noted that 6.5 percent would be one of the highest, if not the highest growth projection in the Asia-Pacific region. The finance chief said a bustling manufacturing sector, record low unemployment rate, alongside a stable and resilient banking system, could alleviate buffers against external headwinds. But because of the current challenges, Jokno said the Philippines is taking the first steps toward launching the Maharlika Investment Fund, the country's first ever sovereign wealth fund that will support the goals set by the administration in the Philippine Development Plan 2023-2028. Meanwhile, during the same luncheon, Marco said countries in the Asia-Pacific region are united and determined to do away with the Cold War mentality. The president said countries in the Asia-Pacific are facing pressure to take sides as a result of intense geopolitical tension in the region. According to Marcos, the ASEAN and the APEC members' economies are committed to the idea that they cannot return to the Cold War formula where they had to choose whether to be under the Soviet Union or the United States' spheres of influence. Marcos also highlighted the tendency for nations to move toward nationalism and protectionism as a result of the present crisis, such as the coronavirus pandemic and the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Joining Marcos at the luncheon were seven of the country's biggest businessmen from Aboitis, Alliance Global, Ayala Group, JJ Summit Holdings, San Miguel Corporation, SM Investments, and International container terminal. Neil. Chona, mm-hmm. hanggang anong araw dyan si President Marcos at ano-ano pa yung mga inaasahan natin na aktibidad ni Pangulo dyan? Si Pangulong Marcos ay mananatili dito sa Davos, Switzerland hanggang sa January 20. Ngayong araw, araw ng Martes, January 17, o oh, ang uh, Pangulo ay... Uh, Mayroon siyang opening, oh, dadalo siya sa opening uh, speech ng uh, Swiss President. 10.30 po yan ng umaga dito at uh, alas dos mamayang hapon. Ang uh, Pangulo ay mayroong uh, dadalo, oh, dadalo sa PH uh, Philippine Country Strategy Dialogue kasama ang economic team. At mamayang alas tres naman ng hapon ay mayroon siyang uh, private meeting. At alas 4 ng hapon ay mayroon siyang interview sa isang uh, media outfit. At alas 5 ng hapon, Neil, ay mayroon siyang bilateral meeting kasama ang IMF Managing Director. At uh, 5.30 ay isa pang meeting ang DP World. At pagkatapos ito, 7.30 ay mayroon siyang uh, private dinner. So puno ang kanyang schedule ngayong araw. Bukas naman, araw ng Merkulis, mm-hmm. January 18, ang uh, Pangulo ay uh, magkakaroon ng uh, panel ng 11.30. At uh, 12.30 naman ay uh, magkakaroon siya ng WEF Equal Lunch Key Remarks. At pagkatapos ito ay magkakaroon siya ng high-level dialogue. 1.30 po yan, oras po yan dito sa Switzerland. At uh, alas 5 ng hapon ay magkakaroon siya ng one-on-one dialogue sa presidente ng World Economic Forum. At 7.30 ay dadalo ang Pangulo sa World Economic Forum Korean Night 2023. Araw po yan bukas. Miyerkules at sa Webes naman sa January 19, ito po ay President's Time. Uh, kumbaga ay wala siyang naka-schedule dito sa Davos. At sa January 20 ay uh, magkakaroon po siya ng uh, Philipp- uh, meeting sa Filipino community ng alauna ng hapon at alas dos naman ay mayroon kaming kapihan kasama ang media. Mm-hmm. At uh, 2.30 ng hapon ay mayroong presentation of wine and uh, paintings ng uh, Philippine Embassy. At uh, 3.30 ay 
wrap up session. Pagkatapos ito alas 8 ng gabi ay mm-hmm. pauwi na po kami ng Manila. Mm-hmm. So na dagdag na katanungan lang ano kasi nabanggit mo doon sa report mo yung Maharlika Investment Fund. Napag-usapan din natin yang kahapon no na isa nga yan mm-hmm. sa mga ipepresenta. Kumbaga, ni Pangulong mm-hmm. Marcos diyan sa ibang uh, world leaders at economic leaders diyan sa Switzerland. So kailan natin inaasahan itong diskusyon na ito patungkol dito sa Maharlika Investment Fund? Oh, uh, meron kasi siyang nakatakdang uh... Uh, talumpati bukas ng umaga mm-hmm. nila no Wednesday so malamang doon niya ipipitch yung mm-hmm. uh, Maharlika Investment Fund sa World Economic Leaders at sa mga negosyante na rin. Okay. Uh, maraming salamat Shona. That's Shona you reporting live from Switzerland. Ingat kayo diyan.